hello guys how are you doing uh in, in this video today i will show you how to design a common base uh, npn bjd transistor amplifier so let's start first of all uh, the b uh, the pnp uh, bjd transistor we would select as 2n3904 that is an npn transistor this is the transistor and in the common base uh, uh, in the common base transistor amplifier uh, we would show, we would see that the mm. current gain would be equals to 1 and the voltage gain would be equal to the would be equal to the ratio of the collector and the emitter resistors uh, these uh, transistors are usually used in the rf and microwave amplifier circuits so we would see how to design this place the resistors in here the base of the transistor would be set to the ground potential this is the reason why this configuration is known as the common base amplifier so yes now we would place a polar capacitor we would take the output from the collector and we would give the input to the emitter side okay place the voltage source here advance sine wave we would set 0 0.01 volt that is 10 millivolt peak sine wave amplitude here as AC small signal AC and this is 1 volt and 0 degree phase shift frequency we take 1 kilohertz Okay, now set this to the ground potential and this would also be going to the ground. This is the ground and now we select the battery. The battery would, we would take the VCC equals to per volt. Okay. <coughs> right this is now connected and uh, we would set the output node as out and we would set the input node as input i in now yes the biasing this r3 and r4 are the by um uh, the base biasing resistor setting network and usually the resistor that is connected to the supply line is all, all is always a high value of resistance so let it to be 68 kilo ohm and let this to be 2.7 kilo ohm this resistance is usually very low this is because uh, the base is the base voltage as i already mentioned this how to bias the transistor in my previous videos so vb is equals to actually the voltage across the voltage drop across r4 therefore vcc that is 12 volt multiplied by r4 divided by r4 plus r3 this is the equation that would set the base biasing voltage for this transistor now we are going to set the gain of this uh, transistor common base transistor amplifier the gain of the common base transistor amplifier is actually the ratio of the res collector resistor and the emitter resistor that is in this case r1 and r2 that is r1 upon r2 would be the gain 
let us set the gain to be equal to 100 therefore we set this resistance to be equal to let's say 10 kilo ohm therefore this resistance would be equals to 100 ohm because the ratio of this is equals to 100 therefore the gain would be equal to 100 in the common base amplifier configuration let us set the coupling capacitors to equal to 1 microfarad and this is also 1 microfarad ok now everything is set and we set the transient uh, simulation analysis equal to 10 millisecond ok now uh, yes this one is also 1 microfarad ok uh, now let's simulate this is the output we are getting and this is the input as you can see that the output is very uh, very much amplified with respect to the input now let us see what is the um, is this actually the 100 gain or is it any other value let us set let us see um, so <clears throat> The pointer, I let's set it here. Yes, the peak value 481 millivolt. 481 millivolt is the peak value we are getting, and here we have 10 millivolt. Yes, 10 millivolt peak input and 481 millivolt peak output. So that would be. 481 divided by 10 48 volt per volt gain so this is not exactly the 100 this is 48 volt per volt gain 48 gain gain of 48 so <coughs> if you now tweak some resistor values uh, in the base setting because this uh, resistance is actually the uh, cause of this transistor biasing the transistor 2 and 3 and 0 4 VB is equals to VB is equals to 0 0.7 volt usually so if we see that uh, is it uh, what the value it is 4.7 K divided by 4700 plus 68000 so uh, multiplied by 12 Yes, the voltage we are getting here is 0 0.775 volt, which is uh, I think is not uh, okay. We have to increase. We have to decrease this resistance value so that the voltage at this base resistor falls below 0 0.7 volt. Therefore, let us increase this value for to 4.5 k. Decrease this value to 4.5 k, and. Um, Yes, at 4.5k, we would have the base bias voltage equals to 0.7448. Let us simulate again this. Hmm. <coughs> still, uh, still it is not up to mark. So let us try to increase the resistance value. 25k and keep the ratio equal therefore we also increase the emitter resistance to 250 now let's simulate it again yes now as you can see the uh, output uh, voltage peak is swinging up to the up to 1.14 volt 1.14 volt therefore 1.14 volt divided by 10 millivolt would give us 114 <coughs> volt per volt gain so this is uh, the right thing hence uh, we can see that the gain has been achieved where the uh, collector resistance equals to 25 kilo ohm and emitter resistance at 250 ohm now let us also see the current gain of uh, this uh, amplifier the current gain would be equals to the output current divided by the input current so the current at the output that is 
collector is this red line as it is shown and the input current flowing from here the source would be equal to this so <clears throat> as we can see that this current is somewhat a bit different <clears throat> and it has to be um, in conformity with the input current and the output current therefore we can do some register values again let us see set it to be put 50 kilo ohm no as you can see the biasing has been disturbed very much okay so we would not we would set this 58 kilo ohm again and we would reduce this value to 3.8 kilo ohm well below the 0 0.7 volt mark of VBE let us see what happens yes this this per, this red color and this uh, light blue color uh, waveforms should match with each other actually because the current gain of the common base amplifier is equal to 1 therefore they should be the same therefore let's drop it to further 3.5 kilo ohm no 4 kilo ohm let's see no. 3.8 kilo ohm yes now this perfectly matches but um, with the trade-off of with the v out equals to 542 millivolt therefore we can see that uh, the gain with this uh, biasing resistors with this biasing resistor currently which we have we get the gain of 542 millivolt divided by 10 that is 54.2 volt per volt now let us try to reduce this further as in our previous configuration no the gain has been brought much more significantly so we will try to increase the collector and emitter resistance okay so this uh, is somewhat a bit uh, accept acceptable configuration because the current of because the input and output current are nearly equal to each other a little bit difference but the gain is as we expected it is eight ninety three millivolt uh, at ten millivolt input. That is eighty nine. That is ninety volt per volt. So guys, this was the common base amplifier configuration with the base uh, directly grounded to the uh, directly grounded with the uh, biasing resistors R3 and R4 and input is given at the emitter terminal remember this and output is taken from the collector I hope you guys enjoyed this video please uh, stay tuned with my channel uh, and if you like my video please share and subscribe to my channel and uh, give a thumbs up thank you so much take care